Today, I'm gonna to talk about a new product that we're bringing to market. And part of the reason we're bringing this to market is is because I'm tired of trying to find them every time I need them. What we have here is a Ford unit bearing, 05 up. Why 05 up Ford unit bearings? Because they're massive, you can get them anywhere, and they're easy to modify. Easy to modify for eight on six and a half bolt pattern, as well as lightening them and getting rid of the Swiss cheese look, which I absolutely totally hate when people do these things because it just looks like hell in my opinion. If you're gonna machine it, take the extra initiative to go a little bit further. Uh, this is an 05 up Timken bearing that we machined and lightened. It looks better, it's lighter, 0.85 pounds, 916 studs. We're gonna predominantly only do the 916 stud variety simply because it's a bigger stud at the base which fits the wheels better. Could probably do special requests, but we do like a pallet of these at a time, so it's gonna be something that's gonna take a while. Factory Ford 05 up style unit bearing from Timken. We use the Timkins simply because it's Timken. I feel like they've got a little bit better tolerances. They hold quality specs a little better. I honestly have a dozen of these from different manufacturers and about six of them are identical. They just don't say Timken. But we're gonna keep with the Timken brand. Keep America strong. So here is our lightened and converted eight on six and a half wheel hub. Fully machined, a little bit lighter. It's not a huge amount, but you know, you get bigger studs too. Kind of look at the two studs here, the 14 millimeter versus 9 16 And what you really got is this weird base down here on the factory versus an actual large base here. I just prefer that my wheels aren't strictly relying on the hub centric. Now over here we have our Brannock Legacy shaft. Uh, this is the 1550, which this is another reason you want to run these is because you can run 1550 shafts with these knuckles. And this is their full unit that basically slides in 32 spline outer. So, you know, you get to this little piece right here and that just looks really good. I mean, that's, that's just a good looking part. You don't have a bunch of freaking Swiss cheese in here that just looks like crap. You do have to remove the bearings in these, which if you are buying the Brannock shafts or any of the other full uh, RCVs too, uh, we can pop these out for you pretty easy. Anyway, we're gonna go into the machining process here momentarily with our machinist, Joe, and these, these are ready to go. If you need a set, we have them in stock. There's no waiting four weeks or two months like I've had to in the past. They're ready to go. Anyhow, on to the machine shop. There we are, machining, battery old holes. Now we're gonna start making new holes. Ugh. All right. Hit go. And of course we machine the back side first so you can't really see what's going on here. But we're doing a pilot hole. Got some holes there in the hub. We're adding more. In a second now this will pull back after it's final push. Alright, here we go. That is fully machined. Before I put the studs in, that's what it looks like. And then, you know, it just ends up looking like that when we're all done. Ready to ship? Skyslockroaddesign.com.